good morning welcome to my channel i'm so glad that you've joined me today this will probably be a couple weeks long video because i know i can't get done everything that i need to get done today that i want to get done i am currently in the baby's nursery i am almost 30 weeks pregnant it's kind of crunch time i guess i went 40 weeks plus five days with my son it could be another 10 to 11 weeks probably more like 10 to 11 weeks for this baby, which means we have a little bit less than three months. Since the last time you guys saw, I did like a little nursery tour. Um, it was a lot cleaner than it is right now. I've been collecting lots of stuff for the baby. I'll just show you guys like all the things that I've gotten, just kind of like ideas that I have, what's gonna be in this video, stuff like that. Right now, I'm washing baby clothes. So I'm washing all of the zero to three month baby clothes and all of the newborn baby clothes that we have for the baby. They're all of what we used with Riker. Um, I kept everything that was like mostly gender neutral, some like more boy specific things, um, but there's not a whole lot of boy specific items. Let me show you what I have going on in the closet before this battery dies. So I emptied this. This, I have um, stuff that I got from the shower, three to six month clothes that I'm just putting here because I'm not ready to take those out yet. And then I also have just um, holiday kind of specific stuff that I've kept in here. I'm probably going to stuff this thing full of diapers and stuff because I don't want to put this back up in the attic yet because I know baby will grow out of the clothes that are really small really fast. And so I just want to put all the clothes back in here. So I'll probably put just like extra diapers and stuff in this and then stack the other extra diapers like on top of this or underneath it. I haven't really quite decided. Um, I do have some decor in here that I don't really know if I'm going to use. This goes with the pack and play. I have the car seat stuff. I have some toys and stuff that I don't really know what to do with. Okay, so then I got this new. I got this from Walmart. I thought this was like really cool that it had drawers. Um, I haven't really decided how I'm going to use this. I don't know if I'm going to put onesies in here or like socks or what I'm going to put in here. I'll probably move these wipes somewhere else. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do if I'm going to put diapers in here, but this is going to be really nice for like organizing all of like the tiny baby stuff. So it was really cheap. So like I think it's really going to work well for what I have. I have the one of the carriers back here and I also have like an extra bag for like when we travel with baby. I took all of these hangers out of Riker's room and I bought Riker new hangers. Just recently got this uh, stroller. It's like a caddy for the car seat that we already have own which is the chico key fit 30 i got the chico caddy i was someone was selling it on like facebook marketplace and so um it was like 40 bucks compared to like 100 got that set this up just to see how it works it folds up really nice probably closer to when baby's going to be born we will install the car seat i need to write thank you notes i just set all that in there um i still have stuff i need to wash some extra diapers and stuff the decor that's going to be going on the walls this is all christmas gifts I had nowhere else to put it in our house, so that's Christmas gifts. And then you guys saw this in the video before. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it. Um, this is all the stuff that we got for our shower. So I'm gonna sit down and show you guys what we got, do a little haul of what we got from our baby shower. Okay, so as you can see, we have a ton of diapers, which we are so, so thankful for. Um, we got a ton of diapers that are, it was like a baby sprinkle. So it's like when you have, a second baby you don't do like a whole baby shower you do a baby sprinkle and so it's like a little bit less than like what a shower would give you because we still have tons of stuff from like when we had our first baby i did get a couple of newborn onesies that are gender neutral those are washing right now i had a couple things sent to me from people that weren't at the shower so i got this is like a bottle brush so definitely needed that new um, I also just want to show you guys this stuff because if you're curious about what you want to buy for like a second baby, I did a lot of research. The stuff that I got is kind of just like stuff that you definitely need with a second baby. I also have a hands-free pumping bra. Um, I, def I didn't have this with Riker. I didn't pump a whole lot, but I feel like I probably will pump a little bit more with this baby because first of all, I want to pump more because I want to help my milk supply because I didn't have a great milk supply with Riker. And I also, um, I'm gonna have a toddler, so I'm definitely gonna need something hands-free. Milk storage bags, definitely can't reuse that. 
Some nursing pads, definitely can't reuse that either. We got bottles, which I'm so thankful for because um, for some reason, so Riker used formula for a little bit. I did formula and breastfeeding. Our bottles got really nasty. And so I ended up throwing them away. So I was really grateful for having a new set of bottles. I um, found that really I only needed like the two small bottles um, and the two big bottles for Riker. That seemed to be enough. I probably won't be purchasing anymore. I really liked that this was like a four pack of two big bottles, two small bottles. I think that'll be enough since I do like to breastfeed and I am hoping to be able to breastfeed this baby as well. This was the camera that we got for the baby. It's um, hooks up to the baby monitor that we already have currently with Riker. So it can switch back and forth between two cameras. So we just got an extra camera for that. Um, an extra cell machine was definitely a necessity since the baby will have their own room. Riker still uses his cell machine, obviously. And so we'll, we'll put this in our room since baby will be sleeping in our room for like the first six months since that's what we did with Riker. I got lots of like baby soaps and lotions and stuff that people got us a little collection of soaps and lotions. That's just obviously something that we can't reuse because well, you use it up. So um, rattle for baby just so that baby has their own toys. And then this sweet baby blanket that someone got us. We have all of Riker's like old babies, baby blankets, but it is cute to have like their own baby blankets. And then besides diapers and wipes, I think that was it. We did get a gift card, which I ended up buying some new hangers for Riker so that I could use the velvet hangers in this closet for like all the baby clothes. And then I ended up getting that little storage organizer that was in that's in the closet. I got a changing pad. Riker tore up the baby um, changing pad when he was a baby by like kicking it, it ripped a hole in it. So we got a new one of those that's coming in the mail. And I got a new laundry hamper that's coming in the mail as well. Things that I still need. And like I said, it's not a whole lot of stuff that we needed for second for a second baby. Just things that we like absolutely need. Um, we need some new pacifiers because um, it's just really good to, to get new pacifiers for each baby. You don't want to be like passing germs and stuff to your second baby. But also Riker's pacifiers melted in the attic. Um, so we need, so we definitely need some new pacifiers. I really would like to get a double stroller, like a sit stand type stroller. Um, like I said, we do have this caddy thing and that's going to be really nice because I am going to be dragging a toddler around with me. I can't really, it's like going to be a little bit harder to like carry around, um, the baby carrier. So this will be nice to just be able to like go inside like a store for like a quick second or like a restaurant or something. Um, this will be really nice to have, but I do want like a double stroller for like the times where I am going to be walking a little bit more like in a store, you know, just taking both kids to wherever it is. It'd be nice to have a double stroller for that. Eventually we'll need a new car seat. That's not an infant car seat, um, but that can come later. Um, I am going to need some dish bottle soap, some like baby dish bottle soap so we can wash the bottles. Um, I'm going to get formula, a thing of formula. I'm probably going to get that a little bit closer to my due date just so that it's super fresh um, because we did end up needing to use formula with Riker. So I will end up buying a like a little emergency can of formula. Oh, one other thing that we got that I forgot to show you guys. Actually, two things. We got a little stuffed animal for the baby. And then I also, I had registered for this boppy pillow, nursing pillow, because... I do have a nursing pillow, but so I have the My Breast Friend nursing pillow and I use that in Riker's room a whole lot. I wanted a boppy that I could use like on the couch in the living room because the My Breast Friend goes around your back and it's kind of hard to use on like a couch. And I wanted to be able to have something that baby could like learn how to sit up in as well. And um, so I really just wanted like an extra nursing pillow for all the things. So I'm really excited that I have two breastfeeding pillows now that I can just like keep in separate rooms. I'll probably keep this one in the living room and I'll probably keep the My Breast Friend in this room. Um, this one might even go in my room for nighttime feedings. I haven't really decided yet, but I'm really glad that I got this as well. Got Riker a new booster seat for the table. 
and the baby will be able to use a high chair. So like if your baby's like if your first baby's like a little bit younger, you can probably use the high chair up until the time that you need to get like a booster or up until like six months when you need to like switch when you need to like use the high chair for your six month old or four month old however whenever you decide to start feeding your child solid foods um and then get your child a booster seat but um my son was definitely ready for a booster seat for the table so we just went ahead and got him one and we're gonna store the high chair until the baby is ready to start solids Something I have not gotten yet is a new diaper pail. I'm back and forth about getting a new diaper pail because we do have one. I just haven't decided if I want one for both rooms because um, they are kind of pricey. So I do love having a diaper pail. I know people are back and forth between like wanting a diaper pail and um, not seeing the point in them. But I really do love having a diaper pail because we don't take the trash out enough for the diapers not to be stinky in the house. So um, the diaper pail just keeps everything trapped in there. So I'm gonna get extra like butt paste, gas relief drops, gum, teething gel, um, maybe some extra Tylenol, another teething toothbrush. Oh, I did get a baby book, you guys. Oh my goodness, I forgot. I forgot to show you. My mom bought us a baby book. So I love doing like scrapbook type stuff. I know baby books aren't like everybody's cup of tea, but like I I saw this one on Etsy and you guys, I'll link it below, but it is beautiful and I love it so much. I'll just kind of give you like a sneak peek of the inside, but like it says your first week and like you put photos and stuff in here and then three months old and you put some photos and um, you can put photos here and just like write things in it. So I really liked doing this with my son. Uh, I don't think his is quite as nice as this, but that is okay. I I enjoy doing it, and it, it I don't think either kid's gonna care. I think I, it's gonna be more for me. So, and then of course I need to get some postpartum things, tux, dermaplast. I'm gonna get some perennial spray, um, and possibly a tailbone like cushion, because I had a lot of tailbone pain after my son was born for like a month to two months. Um, and so that was really nice to be able to like have to sit on. Um, haven't decided if I'm gonna get that yet, but I think that's everything. That probably sounds like a lot to some of you, but I do try to be a little more um, on the minimal side. I try not to go overboard. With babies, you just never know how much stuff you're gonna need. This may be a little bit overboard, but like y'all babies need a lot of things. So I'm excited to start organizing this stuff. This video will be mostly me organizing um, things, putting things together, putting baby clothes away. And then we'll move the crib in here pretty soon because Connor is almost done with Riker's toddler bed. We're really excited for him to move to a big boy bed and to move the crib in here. Baby will probably take naps sometimes in here, which is really the only reason that we're putting a crib in here in the first place. I'm not doing a whole lot of decoration in this room and there's a reason for that. So um, that'll be in a video coming up soon if I haven't already um, made that video. So uh, you guys just have to stay tuned for that exciting announcement. You can probably maybe guess what it is from that. But yeah, so let's get organizing and decorating. <laughs>
this, but I wanted to go ahead and thank Love Every for collaborating with me on this video. I think this is gonna have to go up after Christmas, y'all. It's been so busy. I haven't posted a video in such a long time. We've been getting stuff done for baby, other stuff that we haven't even told you guys about, you know, just getting ready for Christmas, all the chaos that comes with that. I am like six weeks away from my due date now. It's crazy. It's it's just been crazy. Very quickly, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Love Every this time in our um, little play kit that we got for my son. He is two years old and three months. So we got this little subscription kit. We get it every about three months. They go up to age three years old, I think. So we got this little kit quickly. Just gonna show you guys kind of what comes in like I love every box. So this little squeegee thing to help them learn how to like clean. This is a little picnic set, super cute. Has little plates and stuff in it. That's gonna be so fun. By the way, I'm giving this to him for Christmas. Um, so I'm about to have to wrap this. Oh, I, I hear them getting up. My son fell asleep in the car. My husband's out there, so I better do this quick. A little thing to help count. Um, they're little blocks to help count. This little thing comes with buckets, and so it kind of helps them learn like balancing and stuff like that. Hello. Hi. I'm filming. I love every video. Can you like hold off like two seconds? Oh, this is so sad. It also came with a little uh, kit that they can like learn about glue. So like it's actual like art kit thing. We never really experiment with art, so that'll be super fun. And then um, I think every kit comes with a book normally, except maybe like the younger baby kits, but we got my favorite nature buddy. So it just talks about nature in this little book. So yeah, I'm gonna stick all of this back in this little box. I'm gonna wrap it for Christmas. If you guys have like a birthday coming up, like this would be a perfect birthday gift, late Christmas gift. These are just super fun to get. So yeah, thank you Love Every for collaborating with me on this video. My son's gonna be super excited to get this for Christmas. So i um, very excited to have them collaborate with me because they're like my favorite company. If you've seen any of my other Love Every video, Love every video, you guys already know that they're like one of my favorite companies um, for baby and toddler, just toys and items and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm like so out of frame. Um, I may also insert some Christmas footage, just vlog type footage that we take um, at the end of this video, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so glad you joined me. I will try to um, do a little bit more updated video as we get closer to baby being born and I'm super thankful for you guys um, towards this time of the year you know you're just super grateful for what you have and so I am so grateful for everybody that watches our videos and um, yeah so I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>